Yvonne hit upon the e-book idea after seeing it in use in another school. She started it to improve her pupils' reading, speaking and listening skills. We decided that it was a good way to teach the children initially reading skills because if we could put our voices onto e-books, then they could hear our voice, which would help them to read. Then we decided, thought that it would develop their speaking and listening skills, put their voices on, so that's their speaking skills, they're listening to themselves... And then in it, it just grew from there. Yeah. Uh, wood, wood was smelly, oh. like the old cat. <laughs> Yvonne soon realised that e-books also presented a way of successfully differentiating tasks to cater for a class with a big range of ability. Oh. Have we got sound in our story? Well, not everybody was supposed to do that, were you? Who managed sound in their story? Well done. I split it up in, in, a, in a way where I'd got the more able children were able to write in their text themselves and were very able to go and think about the words they wanted to use. With the special needs children, I think it was important that not only were they able to access what they were doing, but they'd got the support to help them to access it. So I paired them. They were very much mixed in, very low ability children and sort of middle ability children. So as there was somebody that could read a little bit, some children that couldn't read at all, but they were paired with somebody that had got some skills, somebody that got very, very low skills. And that one of them were able to read the text while the other one could actually type it in to the e-book. D, 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 O. With pupils with special educational needs, they often need some structure and support in a whole range of learning situations. When we're looking at ICT, I think it's essential that there also is that sort of scaffolding, which can be provided partly by the technology, but probably more importantly by the management in the classroom. And that's why Yvonne, by pairing learners together, by looking at those that can support each other, by providing a range of different tasks based on ability, was so effective in using the technology with those pupils. What it clearly does is support inclusion. When managed well, all of those pupils were participating, were engaging and were achieving. The higher to build it to children, we're going to then take on their ICT skills that step further and they draw their pictures and we wanted them to scan their pictures into the e-books so as that developed their ICT skills. And then, because they were the better readers, they were able to read their own text and put their own sounds on, and their own reading words onto their text. The smell of dead animals hung in the air. The silence was away, way some... Nothing could be heard as we crept through the scary wood. The lower ability children that weren't quite ready to do the scanning process were able to access the, the pictures from the shared area again in pairs so as they'd got the support of somebody else, of their working partner, to actually help them to then access the picture from the shared area so as they were able to then put it into their e-book. In terms of differentiation, we can make the resources fit the child, almost to the individual child, rather than just a group of children, so that we're able to differentiate. Once we've got a resource, we can choose how that is metered out to each child, or we can change it to the needs of the child. If one child has a lower language ability than another, then we can bring that down. You can't do that if it's a, a paper resource, for instance, if it's been um, a manufactured resource. 